Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a couple days late, but eh, better late than ever, I guess. Anyway, um, today's thoughts video is actually on the one thing that people have been raving about on Amazon Prime. That is Fallout. For full transparency, the only thing I've seen so far is just the first episode. Mainly on account of I do not have the attention span to watch an hour-long episode. I will be full. I will admit to that. But you know what? It is what it is. But I will say this for someone who has never played the games but knows the lore. They did a pretty good job. I will give them credit where credit is due. The They did get pieces of the lore correct. Although the thumbs up thing with the atomic bomb, eh, that can be a little bit, that can be vaguely useful in real life, but I don't know. So yeah, uh, myself and the hubby Thomas have actually seen, sat down and seen the first episode. We were nitpicking everything about it. They got the power armor right, they got the ghoul right, although the ivy bags that we saw hanging on his uh, grave marker. We thought it was Radaway, although thank you to my best friend Kyle, that was not the case. It was not Radaway, it was something else. Didn't ask what, so eh. But I like the first ep the beginning of the first episode, the television, how it was all set, you know, like how everything's like permanently set into the 1950s. I mean, they gave cr credit where credit is due to the people who made the show, they stuck to their head, they paid attention to their source material, which was the games. I liked that. I like that they paid attention to the source material, unlike the people who made the Halo series, which, no, we are not doing a thoughts video on that because, for one, because I have not seen it. But then again, they made people, they people that made it did not play or any of the Halo games or read any of the Halo books. That's neither here nor there, though. We're talking about Fallout, not Halo. Although I could probably go for a few days with, right? go for days on about Halo, but... Mm. Anyway, we're talking... <laughs> anyway, I like that they stuck to their, uh, well, I mean, as far as their source material goes, they got Quite a few things right. They got the power armor correct. They got the ships, the bro the factions, you know, like the Brotherhood of Steel, the Men and Men, and all them. Again, I haven't seen the rest of the show. Please be nice. I could be getting some things wrong about Fallout in general, but that's just me. I like that they got things correct. They know the source material and they're sticking with it. So. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how this is looking so far. I'll definitely be sitting down for the rest of the episodes in the first season. For what I heard, it also got greenlit for a season two. I'm actually excited to see where the series goes. I need to know. One little detail that I did, that Thomas and I um, did catch, was when they, for the scientist and his companion, they actually used uh, map coordinates to sketch out the faces in the Brotherhood of Steel camp, which I thought was actually really clever. That was clever. I like that. I quite liked that. So, yeah, I that's basically all my thoughts on the first episode of Fallout. I'll be sitting down at some point to at least watch them and watch the rest of the episodes. And I promise tomorrow will be Alien Breed Impact. Just, yeah, I forgot it was the first of May today and I was just like, oh, for crying out loud. Eh, whatever. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time with Alien Breed Impact. Stay safe and be kind to each other.